Welcome to the media site training on accessing the CARS report in the Wisconsin Commodity Ordering System. The CARS report actually stands for Commodity Allocation and Receipt Summary, but most people refer to it as the CARS report. The CARS report covers the monthly commodity distributions that your agency has received over the specified program year or school year, and the CARS report is typically used for year-end entry purposes and auditing purposes at the end of the year. And so typically people are trying to access this report at the end of the school year. Because the CARS report is in the Wisconsin Commodity Internet System, each agency is responsible for printing their own copy from the system. This report covers what commodities you've received over the school year, the number of commodities that you've received over the school year, the value of each of these commodity items, the total value of these commodity items, and lastly, it also will show you the percentage of your entitlement that your agency has received over the school year. To print a copy of the CARS report, again, you have to access the Wisconsin Commodity Ordering System. To access the ordering system, the first thing that you have to do is open your internet browser, such as Internet Explorer, Firefox, etc., and type in the following address into the address screen of the internet browser. HTTP colon double forward slash dpi dot wi dot gov forward slash fns forward slash index dot html. This screen shows a copy of what it looks like when you type in that address. You first go to the Wisconsin Child Nutrition Programs and Online Services page. After you're there, you have to scroll to the bottom of this page and find the Order USDA Commodities section. And that, that, those wordings are actually listed and highlighted in yellow. And once you find that section, then you have to click on the first link below that which says Wisconsin Commodity Ordering System link. This screen shows a copy of what that looks like when you're in the internet. After you've clicked on the Wisconsin Commodity Ordering System link, you will be taken to the login screen for the system and it's specific for each agency so you will need to enter your user ID and password. The user ID is the agency's code that's been assigned to you for the school lunch program, and it's the same that you use in the fiscal claim system. The password is the four-digit password that's been assigned to your agency. And this is a copy of what that screen looks like um, for entry. Once you're logged into the system, you will actually get a message board. This message board will display important commodity updates, and this message board can actually change on a daily or weekly basis, so it's important to read this screen before you go into the system each time. Once you've read the message board, you should click on the Continue button that is located at the bottom of this screen. This is a copy of what that Continue button looks like in the system. Once you've clicked on the Continue button, you will be asked to select a program year, and so you have to um, pick the appropriate program year. It's important to note that in this system, the program year is actually listed by the fiscal year, which starts from July 1 each year and goes through the following June 30th. So therefore, say for example, you're trying to access school year 2008-09, you would actually click on program year 2009. This is a copy of what you would have to select for 2009. Once you've selected the appropriate program year, um, you will actually see a, a boxed in area on the screen. And for the CARS report, what you're looking for is actually above um, this boxed in area. And you will see the following words listed, summary, allocations, orders, reports, and resources. And the word that you need to click on is the word reports. This is an example of how I talked about the boxed in area. And the word reports is above that area, but below where it shows the picture of the state of Wisconsin. Once you've clicked on the report 
button, you'll actually see another set of words that says CARS report, and you need to just click on the words CARS reports. And this is a copy of what it looks like. After you've clicked on the word CARS report, it will actually, for the program year that you're in, automatically display the CARS report. This is an example of what the CARS report would look like once you click on, the, on those words. And it will list, it will show you all the commodities that you've received, the value, the total cases, and this is an example of that. To actually print a copy of the CARS report, you have to click on the print button that is located on the top of your web toolbar. It's actually not part of the system. This is an example of that. We've circled the printer button and you just click on print and it will automatically print out a copy for you. As far as recording purposes for year end and, and auditing purposes, the amount that you're looking for will be next to the line that's at the bottom of the page and says total value received, entitlement, bonus, DOD, and raw product. And this is the total value that your agency has received for that designated program year. And again, it's the amount that you will need to enter for year end and audit purposes. This is an example of what that screen looks like. In this particular example, the total value received for this agency is $2,435.01. This ends the presentation for the CARS report.